These are the top five SMG loadouts that you need to be using right now on Rebirth Island. Before I give you those shots to Noti Gang, if you guys like to be featured by next video, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and watch the video all the way through. Without further ado, man, here are the five SMG loadouts that you need to be using on Rebirth. Starting off, we got the MP40. I know everyone loves this thing. Super easy to use, so here's my setup that I believe you need to be using in Rebirth. Starting off, we got the Recoil Booster. Increase in fire rate leads to a faster time to kill. With the barrel, we have the Short Barrel. This is the new meta barrel to be using. The Crossing 317 just ain't it no more. You get damage range and limb damage, basically just making the MP40 stronger. For the Optic, there's two ways of going with it. You can rock the Slate Reflector or you could rock the Krosnik ISO 1M. I personally like the Iron Sight, so I'm just gonna go ahead and rock that again. You could rock the Slate Refractor, there's nothing wrong with that. For the stack, we got the Krosnik 33M Folding. For increase in mobility, we get Sprint to Fire Speed and Movement Speed, you just feel lighter on your feet. For my underbarrel, we have on the M1941 hand stop for recoil control to make this weapon as accurate as possible. The magazine, we got the 7.62 Grenko 45 round mag. More recoil control. This thing's a laser beam when you have this and the hand stop on. We get another increase in fire rate. So the TTK is through the roof with the recoil booster. Fire rate increase on this and our barrel that makes your weapon stronger. So you can only imagine how powerful it is. And we get even more mobility with the movement speed and ADS speed. Ammunition, two ways of going with it. They did nerf hollow point, which I have talked about in my last top five. You grok that or rock lengthen. It's up to you. I personally don't notice a difference. If you want to play it safe, I highly recommend lengthen. If you really just don't care, go ahead and rock hollow point. That's what I've been rocking and it's been working out. For my rear grip, I have on polymer. So we get flinch resistance and accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. So anytime we're in a gunfight, our weapon's just more accurate. Perk one and two, I have on brace for initial fire and recoil. Our weapon's just a little bit more accurate right when we start firing. And then perk two, I got quick for an increase in sprint speed. And there is my very first loadout. We have the MP40. For my second SMG loadout, we got the OTS9. This thing has been nerfed numerous times, and it is still, honestly, the best Cold War SMG to this day. So the first attachment you're gonna wanna rock is the Guru Suppressor. We get sound suppression, so we're off the radar. Enemies don't know where we're at. We get vertical recoil control, make our weapon just a little bit more accurate. And we get bullet velocity and damage range, making this thing just a little bit stronger at medium and long range engagements. For the barrel, we got the task force barrel, more damage range, more bullet velocity, and we get a little bit of strafe speed so we can move side to side just a little bit quicker, making it harder for the enemies to hit their shots on us. I then have on the KGB Skulls Hole stock. The strafe speed with this on, oh man, bro, you are flying. Like I said, enemies will just not be able to touch you when you're strafing. It's so, so good. And you feel incredibly light on your feet. For my magazine, I have on the VDV 40 round fast mag. Magazine's a little bit small, so that's why we had the fast mag on, just so we could reload uh, that much quicker and just get right back into the action. And then for my fifth and final attachment on this, I have Serpent Wrap. One of the nerfs they had on the OTS-9 back in the day was the ADS speed. They got completely torched, and it's very, very slow without Serpent Wrap. So you're going to want to have this on, or you're just going to get shot at before you can ADS. And there's my second loadout. Like I said, OTS-9 is still a top-tier SMG on Rebirth, and I wouldn't be surprised if people choose this over the MP40 and some of the other loadouts I'm going to give you. For my third SMG loadout, we actually have another Cold War SMG the mp5 now this is another one that has been nerfed a few times and it is still brolic it gets the job done so starting off we have the agency suppressor sound suppression off the radar vertical recoil control making the weapon a tad bit more accurate bullet velocity and damage range this thing's range is awful so you're definitely gonna need that for the barrel we ain't rocking a barrel that's the good thing about this i think a lot of the barrels just kind of slow you down or mess the recoil control up so don't even worry about throwing one on for the laser, we have the Tiger Team Spotlight, movement speed and aim walking movement speed. You are flying through Rebirth when you have this Tiger Team Spotlight on. It is so, so incredibly good. For my optic, we ain't rocking one. You don't need one because the iron sights are beautiful on this weapon. For the stock, we got Raider stock. Like I said on the OTS-9, it applies to the exact same on the MP5. You're strafing incredibly quick. Again, it just makes it hard for the enemies to shoot at you and you usually just win the gunfight almost all the time when you use that strafe speed to your advantage. For my underbarrel, I actually have on Bruiser Grip. You get movement speed and hip fire accuracy. I mainly threw this on for the movement speed. I'm not too much of a hip fire person. Like I said, man, we're just going for pure mobility on this thing because this weapon's already incredibly strong as is. And then for my fifth and final attachment, I actually have the standing 50 round drum. So not only am I looking to be very light on my feet and quick, but 
I also am throwing on the 50 round drum. We got a huge magazine on this thing and it does torch your ADS speed and reload speed just a tad bit. So the mobility kind of compensates for the little slow magazine, but no worries. This is what you want to rock on your cold run P5. Like I said, been nerfed multiple times, still an absolute beast. For the fourth SMG loadout, we actually have the O1 gun. This is the strongest, most dominant, best number one SMG you could be using right now. The iron set's a little chalky. Mobility is a little rough. It's a little tough to use. You definitely got to give it time, but this is like the number one gun you want to be using in your back pocket. So starting off, we got recoil booster, increase the fire rate, faster time to kill. For the barrel, I personally like the shrouded. I know people like to rock the precision because uh, you get the headshot damage and whatnot. People like to rock the rapid barrel because another fire rate increase. You got to test it out. Rock whatever you want. I personally really like the Shrouded and have found so much success using it. So I'm going to stick to it. We get limb damage, making our O1 gun stronger. We get bullet velocity, which is awesome. So you could you know use this at longer ranges. And what I like best about this is less damage fall off at long range. So, I mean, it kind of speaks for itself. That's why I like this barrel so much is because it maintains the power of the O1 gun at medium and long range engagements very well. I mean, you're outgunning some ARs at, at certain gunfights. It's unbelievable. So highly recommend the Shrouded Barrel for the Optic. There's two ways of going. You could do the NIDAR model, which I personally really like, or you could do the Slate Reflector. That's the Optic that's actually on the Floor Loot Owen gun. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know which one I personally like the best, but we can just rock uh, Slate Reflector for the loadout. For my stock, I actually went with Remove Stock. Like I said, the mobility is rough. So to maximize your mobility, Remove Stock gives you, I mean, it's just pure speed. It's unbelievable. So if you're not rocking Remove Stock, your O1 gun is going to be very, very slow. For the underbarrel, you can rock an M1941 hand stop. I personally don't mind the recoil on it. So I like to rock the skeletal uh, underbarrel. The ADS is so cracked out when you have this on. I really, really like it. For the magazine, I have on the 7.62 Garenko 70 round drum. You get recoil control and accuracy. So like I said, the recoil is a little messy at points, but we completely fix it specifically with this magazine. Another increase in fire rate. So this thing is shooting really, really fast at this point. And that's why I like to rock this magazine. Fire rate, recoil control, that's all I really need. Yeah, the damage is a little rough, the bullet velocity and range, but keep in mind we have that barrel on that has less damage fall off at long ranges. Now for the ammunition, like I said, hollow point has been nerfed and I do use this at medium ranges quite a bit. So I think lengthen's gonna be my best friend and the best option over hollow point. Again, the hollow point got completely torched. I don't recommend using it unless you're using an SMG that's mainly used for up close. Now for my rear grip, I love to run polymer, same as the MP40. I mean, you just got a rocket. Perk one and two, I have on acrobatic, we get movement speed and sprinting move speed. And then perk two, I got on quick. Like I said, the mobility is completely like cracked out when you have on the remove stock and then the two speed perks, which is really, really good. Give us a go for yourselves again. This is the best SMG right now on Rebirth Island. And for my fifth and final SMG loadout, we got the MP7. I Come on, I had to include a Modern Warfare weapon and this is my personal favorite. It is so, so good. First, I got Monolithic Suppressor. You get damage range and sound suppression. You're off the radar, and you do a little bit more damage at longer ranges. For the barrel, you're going to want to go with the longest. This thing is an absolute pea shooter if you're not rocking the FSS Recon. More damage range, more bullet velocity, and a little bit of recoil control. You don't really need the recoil control, but hey, we'll take it. For the laser, I went with TAC Laser. ADS speed it's quite chalked. So just to fix it, make it a little bit quicker. Uh, we got tack laser and we get a little bit of aiming stability and aim walking steadiness just to make our weapon a little easier to use. For my underbarrel, I went with the Merc 4 grip. I don't hit fire too much, but when I do, it's pretty successful because of the Merc 4 grip. You get hit fire accuracy and then you also get normal recoil control as well. At this point, MP7 is just, you're not missing a shot. And then for the magazine, if you're a super accurate person, rock the 50 round. If you missed shots here and there, it's all good. No worries. Just rock the 60. I do lean towards more of the 50 just because uh, you don't lose as much mobility. But again, it's all personal preference. Uh, stay safe. Rock the 60 with me. And there you guys have it. Those are the top five meta loadouts. Also, they had a huge overhaul on the Warzone perks. So let me just give you guys some new options that you could choose from for the perks. So for perk one, you got three different ways of going with it. You got double time, you know, you, you move quicker. We already know that. Scavenger is actually different. So now when you pick up scavenger packs, you also get plus one plate. You also get plates now 
from scavenger so if that interests you go ahead and rock it and then quick fix as well is a crazy good perk one so when you start plating you actually start getting your white health back you know how it kind of stalls for just a little bit well the second you start plating you start getting that health back so if you get shot a little bit more maybe you're dying a lot more try rocking quick fix it might keep you alive just a tad bit longer personal preference i really really like double time i'm always my feet i'm always rushing but I, i'm not gonna lie quick fix sounds like a really really good perk choice if you're playing like trios and quads if you're playing solo scavenger wouldn't be a bad idea because you get plates every single time you pick up scav packs uh perk two highly recommend just going with overkill two primary weapons it's just so hard to beat ghost did get a huge nerf so you actually have to be moving in order for it to work if you're just standing still you're gonna get caught on the radar i don't even think it's worth using at that point unless you're rushing all the time and then perk three amped i mean you gotta swap weapons quick i personally like to do it if you don't want to use it combat scouts a great one so you can actually see what you're shooting again personal preference but for perk one um i think scavenger quick fix are really really good i got the throwing knife to finish my downs and then stim shots it's very situational and that's pretty much it man now let me know in the comments any weapons i may have missed or you would like to see in my next top five again we're gonna try to do one of these a week maybe i'll start rocking your guys' setups in the top fives and showcasing weapons of your choosing other than that you guys all stay safe have a great day and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace